It's time for Catching Up, presented by Camping World. I'm Heidi Watney. I'm catching up with Matthew Boyd in front of Camping World's Freedom Traveler. If you could take this Freedom Traveler motorhome anywhere, Matt, where would you go? Oh, man. Uh, being out in Seattle for most of the year, or at least the off season, is probably Yellowstone. Driving across the state out there. That's a, not too far. I just saw that last summer. It's gorgeous up yeah, there. I know. It'd be, uh, it'd, be, it'd be a lot of fun. I haven't been there since I was a kid. So, That'd yeah. be a good place to take this. Uh, you're always being at the front of this Tigers rotation on a team that's rebuilding. Your yeah. name is constantly talked about uh, in trade rumors. How much does that affect you, or you just put that aside? Um, I mean, you can't really, you can't ignore it. You acknowledge it for what it is. Know that it's, uh, it's, it's nothing until something actually happens, right? Um, I'm called to be a Tiger right now. I don't know what that is tomorrow. I've already been traded once in my career, and... Uh, ended up being the best thing for my career mm -hmm. to come to an awesome franchise and organization in Detroit and I feel home here. I read that you were working on a curveball this off season or yeah. you have a curveball. Yeah. You were working on making your curveball better yeah. this off season. What's yeah. that been like for you? Um it's uh it's it's been pretty cool. It's always curveball is kind of my one of my pitches college coming up and uh you know I learned the slider uh, a few years ago um developed it a lot better and uh you know going into last season or through last season I kind of got a little bit one dimensional with my heater and slider just it was working but I went to the well with it maybe a little bit you know too many times and uh, I uh, went into driveline a place that I train at up in Seattle and uh, actually purchased my own edgetronic camera and using that in the rap soto just you know worked with some of the pitch design guys up there and we just we're just tampering with it a little bit and uh, made some adjustments and uh, you know don't think it's going to change a whole lot but the the few times that I do throw it I want it to be really effective so just making that trying to take every little you know part under the hood of the car and then maximize it and then you know take the product out for a drive sort of thing. You know there's a lot of great prospects in this organization particularly on the pitching side that are close yeah. and uh, we talked to Manning just a little bit ago and he yeah. said you're one of the guys that he likes to pick your brain and learn from um, but with you know Casey Mize and Manning and all these these guys coming up soon do you want to be a part of this rebuild? Would you like to stay here long term? Oh, 100 percent. I'd love to. I feel called. I feel called to this organization, this city. Uh, we're going to win a championship here. Um, we got so much talent coming up the line, and we have a lot of talent on the big league club right now too. And uh, it's really exciting to see all of that start to come, start to you know be firsthand here at the complex with guys like Matt, along with guys like Scoobal and Mize, and you know Franklin Perez and. Uh, Fiedo, Joey Wentz, I and mean, we have a lot of arms that are really, really talented. We got some guys on the position side too, and uh, they all handle themselves like veterans already. Which uh, the way they go about their business, you know, and, and things like that. So it's uh, it's impressive and um, exciting. And, you know, I want to be here. That is amazing to hear you say that we're going to win a championship, and I want to be here. And and you know, everyone always gives like the right lines, whatever. But for a team that lost 114 yeah. games last year, and I say that not to be mean, <laughs> I say that your happens, positivity yeah. is amazing. How do you keep that? Well, I mean, you go through things in a season like that, and uh, things that are hard, right? You know, there's there's constant pressure on saying, oh, well, you guys are on pace to be the worst team ever. Or, Put anything you want in there but really what it is is uh if you change your perspective it's really going to be no different if you're on the other side of the coin if you're on the winning side of things there's going to be pressures as well i think we learned a lot from this last season but the thing that it didn't feel like as bad as, as the record may have showed because we went out there and guys gave it their all every single night you know every loss was tough it wasn't nobody cashed it in at any point in the year everyone left it all out there and with that all of us got a lot better matt it was great talking to you about the tigers thank you so much for joining us today